Welcome back. Your Feel Good Breakfast show on a Tuesday morning. We're joined this morning by consultant psychiatrist, Dr. Mike Weston. We're talking about substance abuse, in particular addiction to uh, nicotine and why so many people still continue to be addicted to this, even though we all know about the harmful effects of it. And you also said earlier on, Doctor, it's about that release of dopamine, that when you mm -hmm. smoke, it does do that. It makes you feel good. Um, <laughs> But I still wonder, it's the high that people associate with, let's say, drugs and, mm. and alcohol, is that what it is in smoking that makes people always go back to it? No, it's, it's, it's quite different in fact. So, well, I guess sort of different, it's the same but different. So let me explain mm -hmm. how it's different. So because of the relatively short action of nicotine, you know, it's got a half-life of about one to two hours, which means that your body has processed it and passed it out within about two hours means that people are pretty much constantly in a state of withdrawal, a state of withdrawal that is developing. Mm -hmm. And quite often we'll hear people saying, for example, that when I smoke, it relieves my stress. Yes. But actually what people are misunderstanding there is actually what they're doing is they're relieving their withdrawal symptoms. And their withdrawal symptoms is what's giving them the stress the in the stress. first place. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's in a way one of these sort of cognitive distortions that we see. So most certainly the high that one gets from nicotine is very different, I guess, from the high that one may get with methamphetamine or with heroin um, or with other substances of abuse. And that might be because of sort of uh, differences in terms of how it actually affects the dopamine system or how it affects the reward system. And there are certain differences between stimulants. So for mm -hmm. example, nicotine, how it works at the level of the neuron is quite different in fact from how it works in, in the context of methamphetamine. Yes. So not all stimulants are created equal, I suppose, uh -huh. but they all have very similar effects but different degrees of effects, yeah. I think. And this is exactly where we invite you at home to give us a call on 0839133728 to maybe further help you understand the depth of this topic. Now, in your field of psychiatry, there's uh, something called dual diagnosis. Mm. What exactly is that? So dual diagnosis is simply a term that we use to refer to patients that have got a mental health problem as well as a comorbid or currently occurring substance use problem. Okay. So for example, someone with schizophrenia who's using cannabis is one example, mm -hmm. or someone who has bipolar mood disorder who's using alcohol. But it can also include less severe mm -hmm. mental health problems, for example, like anxiety and depression. So for example, someone who has an anxiety disorder, like a generalized anxiety disorder or panic disorder, who smokes tobacco, I would consider that person to actually have a dual diagnosis because there's two disorders that need to be treated because both disorders have got negative outcomes yeah. for that person's health and well-being. Mm -hmm. So this idea of dual diagnosis is more the rule rather than the exception mm -hmm. in clinical psychiatric practice yeah. with a vast number of patients who present with mental health problems are also smoking at the same time. It proves very, very difficult to, I mean, where do you start? Do you start with a mental health problem? Do you start with a tobacco? Do you do both at the same time? And what I tend to do is I tend to say, give it back to the patient and say, what would you like to address first? Mm -hmm. Because if we try and push people into treatment for a particular condition or a particular area, it's very unlikely that that person is going to engage properly with yeah. that treatment. Okay, well, we're going to continue this conversation with Dr. West. Very, very interesting stuff. We're talking about uh, addiction to nicotine and substance abuse, of course, with uh, Dr. Mike West, who is a, um, a leading expert in this field in psychiatry. Thank you very much for being here with us. And as I said, our number is open 0839133728. Right now, time for us to head on over into the kitchen and make something delicious and we'll be right back with the doctor.